GIDT Travel Have you ever traveled on a foggy and rainy day? Let me take you to the one-day luxury Haklam Bay cruise tour from Hanoi to discover the mysterious scenery of this UNESCO heritage. So sit back and get ready to be amazed by the unique sight that you don't normally see of this magical place. Morning in Hanoi is a little bit wet, but that's not a problem to start a wonderful trip. Our English-speaking tour guide will pick up guests from various hotel and pick up points in Hanoi Oak Quarter between 8.15 and 9.00 a.m. Although we try to make the pickup as timely as possible due to morning traffic and the number of hotels to visit, this time is approximately a trip. On the journey to Halong Bay, visitors will have a short rest time, a quick break to use the facility, or grab a snack if you miss breakfast. Hello everyone, so it is the nearly 10 o'clock now and I'm the, at the stop station. Today we are going to Luxury Hat of Bay Walk Day Tour. We have the hero Silent Night and she will be going with our guests to take care of them. Uh, let's get it. As soon as we reach Halong, we had a chance to visit Pern Farm. You can witness the whole process of making a valuable pern and expensive jewelry from the first step of growing and harvesting pern from Halong Bay. They also sell jewelry made with perns, so if you bring enough money, you can buy it as a gift or souvenir. Our bus will arrive at Tuan Chau Harbour at around 12 a.m. Then we will wait for our tour guide to buy us ticket and other travelers to come. Make sure to keep in line and catch up with the tour guide so you won't be lost. Uh, there are a lot of tours here. As soon as you step aboard the ship, you will be greeted by the friendly staff who keep umbrellas for us so as not to be wet by the rain. Watch your step because it is slippery on a rainy day like this. The cruise is special, comfortable and features beautiful views of the bay. The ship we go on today has three floors, with two indoor restaurant floors and one sun deck. It's one of the biggest one-day cruise here. One of the highlights of the Halok Bay Luxury Tour is a dining experience. The ship offers a wide range of Vietnamese and international dishes to choose from, all prepared with fresh and local ingredients. Food will be served in a buffet, and you will grab a dish then go around to get the food. If you are vegan, this is a perfect meal with many options like rice, fresh vegetable, tofu, and fruit. And I highly recommend you to read the small side of the dish before picking anything. Or you can also ask the tour guide to help you pick your food. One more note, you should know that they are not allowed to bring plastic bottles from outside. You can leave your bottle on the bus before we reach our pier. You can buy drinks on the cruise with many options from fresh juice, soda to alcohol. It's not too expensive. For my choice, I choose a fresh coconut because we are at the beach and the coconut here is huge and sweet. We will have a rest time to eat and look at the beautiful scenery outside the window. Although it is still a little rainy and windy, many customers still go outside to take some picture with the beauty of Halong Bay. As you stand in the wind, your hair and clothes are flying and create a gorgeous peak ever. You can still see some beautiful cliff clearly. The sky is white, so it makes the scenery seem deeper and infinity. After a short rest, we start our first schedule of the afternoon in Halong Bay Luxury Tour, visit surprising cave or known as Sung Su Cave. This is the largest and most beautiful cave in Halong Bay. The rain cannot ruin your experience because it's still dry inside the cave. You don't have to use umbrella our raincoat to discover the beauty of the cave. As we enter the cave, we immediately greeted by the stunning view of the limestone formation. Our tour guide will tell more about the history of the cave and the wonderful natural creation in a very funny vibe. Here is the biggest chamber. The stalactites are still going up. Maybe uh, you take a picture of this one here for now. Back here, 100 years later, take another picture. Maybe you see it's about one centimeter higher.
there is a small stop at the end of the cave. You can buy some souvenir here. The bridge has an old look and can be a great place for pictures. The next activity of the afternoon is to move to Luan Cave. You can get active with kayaking for about 30 minutes or enjoy a beautiful scenery with a bamboo boat ride by local people. For my choice, I recommend you to get a little wet with kayaking. It's fun and can make you and your travel mate closer. You can take a great experience pic in a kayak too. The cruise staff will give us a small waterproof pocket to keep your phone inside. But remember, if you want to go on a kayak, be sure to bring extra clothes to change because you will get wet. So now we are going on a kayak. This is my first time going on a kayak. I hope that I can try it. I don't know. So we are now going on a kayak to the cave. Uh, this is Luan Cave. It's kind of beautiful. The cave had just enough space for those small boats and kayaks. Big crews cannot go through it. As you go out of the cave, you will see a wonderful view with panoramic cliff around. It is foggy, so the top of the cliff is full of clouds. And if you are lucky, you can see some monkeys. But I don't, so maybe I will be luckier next time. The next destination on the journey is Tito Island. Climb up the mountain for 400 steps to enjoy a panoramic view of Halongbai. On a sunny day, you will witness a breathtaking sunset up here and see cliff and mountain so far. But today is foggy, so everything is covered in white cloud. But actually, it makes Halongbai become mysterious and you can take deep picture here. It can be less foggy at the stop halfway and you will see many cruises and cliff down there. For hiking advice, you should not wear high heel on a trip like this. You may want to take picture with your high heel on the cruise, but please remember to bring your sandal or sport shoe. You will be thanked for these tips because you have to walk and hike a lot on this trip. Surely, not a relaxing tour, but if you don't want to walk much, you can still stay on the cruise and rest on the sun deck or inside the restaurant. If you are not a hiking lover, you can relax on the beach or swimming. Although it was partly foggy, the sea was still settled and many people were swimming there. There are small cutters selling food and drink. There is a Tito statue on this island and our tour guide will tell you the story about the name of this beautiful island. As we go back to our cruise, it's time to kick back, relax and enjoy a small party with refreshments including Vietnamese tea, fresh fruit, snack and wine. Normally, you will have a sunset party at the sun deck on the third floor of the cruise. But today, we enjoy the party inside. Don't think it's boring. The atmosphere is warm and cozy. People can get closer to each other with small talk and enjoy the foggy scenery outside. You can also bring your drink outside to enjoy the fresh air and drizzles on the face as you watch the clouds come lower and return to Hanoi. One, two, three. Yeah. So how do you feel about our tour? But I love this one a lot because of the amount I love. The, the build, yeah, yeah, I love the ocean. I love the scenery. The scenery, the big scenery, yeah, like, right? Like uh, something like you can see in the movies, right? Like, yeah, the yeah, big sea, big sea ball. And you could, you yeah. don't see anything. So yeah, you just just see. see all in the hands. Yeah. that small. Like you can see the some boats, the bar. Yeah, yeah, and we are swimming. Yeah, it is good actually. So, do you re recommend people to yeah. go to Vietnam? Exactly. Because this is my first trip. I would have been here. Uh -huh. It's happened to be a Vietnam. And actually, I like the end. So, yeah, I like with people. Go to Vietnam. Uh, so, Stella, I want to ask you a question. Do you often go with our tours like this? Probably I don't. However, sometimes with uh, some clients, they will pay the extra fee for the cancel service. You should visit Hanoi on a cruise. This is a must-do when you visit Vietnam. 
It's very chill, very peaceful, and Hạ Long is home to many Iceland and caves. So today it's a little bit foggy, but uh, you can still see the beauty of the caves in Iceland in Hạ Long. Definitely should visit him. We will return to the harbor, say goodbye to the cruise, both the bus and travel down the high-speed highway with a free stop halfway. Our tour guide will drop you off at the hotel or location of your choice in Hanoi Old Quarter. With this amazing experience, I think to go to Hạ Long Bay in a rainy and foggy day cannot ruin your trip. Although it makes the scenery become a little bit sadder, but it seems bigger and infinite. Like our customer said, Hà Long Bay on a foggy day makes us smaller and you will be overwhelmed by the majestic of the scenes. If you're interested in booking our tour or have any question, feel free to contact us. GIDT Travel would love to help you plan the next adventure in Vietnam. GIDT Travel, your smile, our happiness.